Hello everyone, this is Hank. Today I'm back for another episode of Adobe Camera Raw. And today we are going to talk about the geometry panel. Now, to find the geometry, geometry panel, uh, first we have to go to the crop panel, which has been renamed as crop rotate geometry. Okay, so three things in one panel. And the geometry is the last of the three. Okay, so um, if you look at this picture, right, um, it has a certain problem to it. Well, the thing is that I was lightly right of the three statues that I'm interested in. Okay, by the way, the middle statue uh, looked just like Woody Harrison, the actor. It's uh, pretty uncanny. Uh, this was taken uh, in Budapest, Hungary, recently. So I I didn't really want to be down the bottom of the staircase looking up at the statue, so I, I had to, to go up higher uh, to the eye level with the thing. The problem is that I'm too way to the right of the three statues, so now I have this... Um, perspective distortion horizontally and, and it doesn't really look good. Um, okay, so if I want to correct it, the geometry panel would be the perfect place for me to do it. It is important to, to fix these things depending on where you're coming from. Okay, so um, with that, I'll, I'll show you um, what's available and what you can do, right? Okay, so the first one, you would have um, a series of things and most of them involve automatic correction done by ACR, with the exception of the last one, which is kind of semi-automatic, and I, I will demonstrate to you what that means. Okay, so uh, automatic completely would be the A, so if you press that, it'll do something, it'll fix something. Okay, so that may or may not look right to you, depending on what you want to see, right? And I'll show you what I want to see a little bit later. Okay, so this is no good. Normally, uh, full automatic is almost never that good, um, with a few exceptions. Okay, so this one here would allow you to do just the hor horizontal correction. And you press this, it makes it even worse. Okay, so this correct just for the vertical. So you do this, it does a little bit of a change, not, not uh, very consequential at all. Okay, so now this one will do both the horizontal and the vertical. And you do that, and it doesn't really change anything because it thinks everything is straight and nice and and good, okay? Okay, um, so now the reality of it is that it's not nice and good. This thing probably will look at the horizon right here, and you can see the horizon right here is pretty horizontal. But if you look up here, okay, it's tilted over to the right. It is, it is more up and to the left would be more down because of the perspective um, distortion due to where uh, the camera was in relation to these three. Okay, so the the last one, as I mentioned, is kind of semi-automatic, and what it means is that you have to teach ACR what are the horizontal lines that you want and what are the vertical lines that you want. So so you gotta teach it first. So for this one, because I want to correct for the perspective distortion, I'm going to straighten this one up here. Okay, so so you you point the pointer to one edge of the straight line, hold down the left mouse and pull it until you see that. Okay, you let go. So you got one straight line. It doesn't do anything because it expects you to do the other straight line. 
Okay, now if you can't see the straight line very well, you might want to turn on the loop before you do this. Okay, so you can go here. Okay, then you will see it better. Okay, so you can see where you can point it. And then you go over here and you can see it right there. Okay, then you press it. So as soon as you have the two line, it straightened it out for you. So so now it's, it was a, as if that I was like perpendicular to these three, almost, right? Okay, so that is pretty good correction. Now notice that because it corrects the image, now you lose detail from the top and the bottom. So that is troublesome. So usually when you take these things, you know you're going to be distorted. You want to take a wide uh, shot so that you can straighten it and without losing the essential information. In this case, it's not too bad because I'm only interested in the three statues. So, so the rest of it could be cropped out without much um, problem. And I can always send it to Photoshop and, and use an artificial intelligence uh, fill feature that uh, Photoshop is so good for. And we'll, we'll invent the, the data um, for you. And it usually does a pretty good job. Okay, so that is a semi-automatic. Okay, once you teach it the two lines, you will correct it for you. And then now with the vertical, now if you think the vertical is all right, you can stop here. But if you, um, if you want, you can always identify that, right? So I can go here. Yeah, it's kind of tricky using the loop. But I, I think close enough is good enough. Okay, so it will straighten it out. Okay, maybe I can turn off the loop now. It's kind of annoying. You don't have to be super precise. Okay, so it corrects for the horizontal and vertical. And um, perspective distortion is almost gone now. So that that's really good. Um, now, we show you the loop. The guides are what that is here. You can click the guide off if you don't want to see it, or you can press the V, and you can do either way, right? So the V would toggle it. Okay, I normally use shortcuts a little bit faster, but but if you don't remember the shortcut, just hit here. Now the constraint crop is like if you have it clicked. All of the areas that don't have data is going to be cropped out automatically for you. And I'm not really sure that's what you want. But if that's what you want, you click on here, even before the fact, they will do it. But I think it just took out too much info. So I don't really like that. Okay. So I will do Control z to get back. Okay, to that. So later I can fix it or, or I can crop it and I, I can show you. Okay, so now at this point, right, you can use the manual transformation to do things further to it or you can like start from scratch and do the manual transformation, meaning that you do it manually. Okay, now, if you don't do it manually and you only use it, and let me kind of explore that, okay? So you can change the aspect of it, okay? Meaning what? Meaning that you can make the statue taller or shorter, depending on what is real and what is not, right? So that's up to you. And I think what, what it has here is okay. Double-click to reset it. Um, 
All right. So that's the aspect. The scale is basically you can zoom in. Okay, so you can get rid of some of the info that you don't think you need. For example, yeah, maybe I stop right here. Okay, if I want the scale. Okay, or well, I can unclick that. I can do the offset. Uh, to to horizontal offset, meaning I can move it like this or like that, depending on what what I want, right? Um, likewise, I, I can offset it vertically, like this, right? Then I can crop it from going up here and crop it if if I want to. Okay, so now, like everything, you can hold down the on and it key, and you can reset this thing. Okay, um, or for individual one, you just double click on them. So I'm gonna reset everything back to zero. Okay, so that's the automatic. Now, the manual is, let, let me kind of go back to here. Kind of go back to where we were, right? So now, if, if you were to do manual transformation, you kind of have to take care of the, both the vertical uh, and the horizontal distortion. So for the vertical, okay, it changes the perspective as if you are like taking a picture from lower down or taking a picture from above down to below. Okay, so the the, um, the perspective vertical is like that. Okay, uh, this particular one doesn't really have that much of a distortion vertically. Um, so we'll we'll play with it some more, but the horizontal is very important. If if you go like this, and then it'll straighten it out uh, the way that we would like for this particular picture, right? You go to here, it'll make it even worse. Okay, so you can use this, and you move it back and forth until both horizontal lines are acceptable. So maybe this is about as good as you can get. Um, yeah, in some cases the automatic does better once you teach it, right? Um, this one you probably will have to rotate just a tad bit. The other way, like this, to, to make it kind of horizontal. But I think I've, I've achieved it pretty well like that. Okay, the vertical, now that the horizontal is fixed, it's easier to see the vertical. So I think vertical like this would be best, right there, in my opinion. Okay, your mileage may vary, right? You, you don't have to be completely precise. Okay, now uh, with the distortion, you can either, using the aspect and the scale, and everything to fix it, right? Again, the aspect is making it skinnier or fatter. Um, I'm not going to mess with the aspect. The scale, yeah, zoom it in a little bit, and you don't really lose that much. So for this picture, something like this would be good, because I'm interested in the three statue and not everything else. The other ones, uh, just a little bit to give a little context. Right? Um, I would move it up like this, and move it over like this, and then I would be pretty good shape. Okay. Um, right there. If you want to completely crop it out, that's fine too. And you wouldn't lose uh, anything at all. 
you still can tell pretty well. Okay, so that is manually fixed. So that is geometry at a glance uh, is very useful, very easy to fix perspective. So, so now if I um, compare between the before and the, the, the after, and you can see a, a huge difference. Depending on what you like, I really like the one that after we fixed it versus the one before. Okay, um, with that, I think we are basically done with the geometry panel. Okay, um, and I'd like to thank you so much for staying with me to the end. And I would appreciate a like from you and or a subscription if you haven't subscribed. Thank you so much. Have a good day.